Today, we're going to be talking about a project that has actually recently gone up close to 766% in just 83 days. That project is Kujira. So currently, it's trading just a little bit down below that. Of course, it's having a little bit of a cool off period here. But today, we're going to be talking about all things Kujira. So we're going to be talking about the key components, the tokenomics, overview of just how it works, etc. Everything you need to know. Now, in this video, I also just want to point out that the project is actually ranked at 219 when we're taking a look at the market cap. And you know what? It, it's currently ranked that out of a ton of projects, obviously. But it's just important to note that this project is not super well established. So I also just want to say, you know, in preface that this, you know, is a little bit risky, I would say this project, well, I guess everything in crypto is obviously risky, but I just want to point that out, but I'm super bullish on this project and I think it's going to grow a lot more in the future. And I think it's going to be within the 100th when we're taking a look at the ranking on CoinMarketCap. So let's talk about that and everything about it. Let's get into this. So first things first. Kujira or Kuji is a layer one blockchain platform that aims to democratize access to decentralized finance opportunities. So the platform provides various tools and decentralized applications tailored for novice and experienced DeFi users. Operating on a proof of stake or POS blockchain validation model, Kujira supports stake delegation, enabling users to delegate their stakes to active block validators and also earn staking rewards. So a distinctive feature is the semi-permissioned nature of the platform, where new dApps and smart contracts require approval from the governance community. Kujira's network is also known for its high throughput and fast block finalization times, with an average transaction block finalized in about four seconds, a crucial aspect for DeFi operations to minimize losses due to slippage in token swaps. So the platform offers a suite of projects, including Blue, a central hub for various operations, Fin, a decentralized exchange with low transaction fees, Bo, an innovative liquidity engine linked to the FinDEX, and Finder, a blockchain explorer tool. So it also offers Ghost, a money market app for lending and borrowing, Orca, a marketplace for trading, liquidated collateral, Pod, an app for cross-chain staking, Pilot, a token launchpad platform, and Sonar, a multi-chain wallet, and USK, an over-collateralized stablecoin pegged to the US dollar. So Kujira operates as a semi-permission blockchain platform that requires governance approval for contract launches and ensuring the entry of valuable community selected projects. The platform optimizes efficiency with an on-chain scheduler, reducing reliance on bots and benefiting users through lower fees. So the platform's native token generation simplifies smart contract development, making all tokens across Cosmos tokens uh, with associated benefits for stakers. So support for Coswasm 1.0 enhances capabilities while the community creates a supportive environment. And Kujira was actually just recently founded in 2021 by James Prestwich, who is also the project's CEO. Now, when it comes to the tokenomics, there is a maximum supply of 122 million. On the network, the token serves the following purposes. There is staking and earning rewards. So Kuji is utilized for staking processes where validators lock funds in Kuji to process blocks of transactions. There is also voting and governance. There is network fees and of course, trading. Now, going a little bit more into the tokenomics, what's actually really interesting, and of course this comment pull, uh, pointed it out, crypto for light, uh, is that the circulating supply is already all out. So basically the, max, the maximum supply is already circulating, which is a really good thing to know. 100% of the supply is actually out and circulating. And this is one of the reasons as well why I'm also very bullish about this project because, you know, with a lot of projects, you know, even if they get a big price momentum like Kujira recently did, you know, just due to inflation with some of the coins and tokens that are going to be minted and, and come out into circulation with some projects, the price will continue to go down unless there is enough buyers to continue the price increase, and it has to be a decent amount. But with this, there's already you know a specific amount that are already out and circulating, so it's super bullish to know that all it takes is obviously more buyers than sellers for the price to increase, and not just the added component of more tokens coming out and being minted into circulation that could possibly decrease the price through that way. So it's bullish to know that that can't happen and that it's just a matter of buyers versus sellers for the price to increase. Now, 
let's continue a little bit further with some of the use cases with the project. So there is finance and banking. So the platform's focus on decentralized finance makes it relevant for the uh, broader financial industry, offering alternatives to traditional banking services and financial instruments. There's fintech. So Kujira's user-friendly DeFi tools and applications align with the goals of the fintech industry, providing innovative and accessible financial solutions. And then there's investment and trading. So the DEX currently makes that happen and applicable. There's also the stablecoin ecosystem as well. So the presence of the USK stablecoin within the Kujira ecosystem makes it applicable to industries that rely on stablecoins for transactions. Now, when it comes to partnerships, in late 2023, Injective, a decentralized ecosystem integrated with the Kujira blockchain. With the integration, Kujira aims to further its vision of providing sustainable fintech solutions for protocols, builders, and Web3 users. Also, Osmosis, the largest decentralized exchange on Cosmos, with partnered with Kujira to integrate the Interblockchain Communication or IBC protocol. Kujira's role in this collaboration involves contributing to the integration, leveraging its position as a layer one blockchain platform on Cosmos. Now, another thing to note is that it's really not on many uh, centralized exchanges is actually just two from what I can see per data on CoinMarketCap. So we can see CoinX and also MEXC. So, you know, it's just a little bit really and not much. Now, when we take a look at DEXs, we can see that most of the volume is actually happening on DEXs. So basically what that tells me, which is super basic to understand is that there's mostly DEX traders. So this means that it's kind of a project for mostly, uh, you know, I would say moderate to, you know, kind of experts when it comes to DeFi. Those are the people that are really interacting with this protocol. And if that tells you something, it kind of means that you know, possibly smart money may be involved with this project, which is also another bullish thing to note. So when it does get listed on a centralized exchange, that's going to be a very bullish factor. And I'm sure it'll probably help increase the price with new money, new retail, obviously, to jump in on it then. Because obviously, when it comes to uh, just a lot of basic retail investors and basic people in the crypto industry is that they're really just staying on, you know, prominent exchanges like their, you know, their Coinbase, their Kraken, and, you know, the Binance, and they're not moving to decentralized exchanges, right? A lot of people don't want to do that. So yeah, I think when it moves to a, you know, centralized exchange option, like a prominent one, like I said, Kraken, Binance, uh, Coinbase, I think it's also going to be a very bullish event for Kujira. So when we're taking a look at the price action, if we were, of course, to hypothetically move the market cap, and let's just say if Kujira had the same market cap as a Bitcoin's right now at 816 million, then one Kuji would be worth $6,670 or an upside of 1800x, which would be quite insane, right? Now, if we were to, for example, move it to another position, right? Like, let's just say if it was that of, for example, let's just say the 50th position on, uh, let's just see uh, that a bid tensor. So $1.6 billion, that would make the potential price then $12 and 89 cents or an upside of 263%. Let's say if it was that in the 100th position at Conflux, then it would make the potential price $5.66 or an upside of 59%. And if it was that of, for example, osmosis, then it would make the price to be $8.25 or an upside of 132%. So I really think there's a lot of upside still with this project. And also you have to note that with all these projects that I'm always comparing these to, these projects are down, you know, still 20 to you know 30, occasionally even 50 to 60% down from their previous all-time highs as well. So there's still a lot of room for these projects to, of course, grow, but also possibly that of Kujaro. Let me know your guys' thoughts about it. I hope you guys like the analysis that I provide here on this channel. My name is Trevor, also known as Mint and Max. If you like the video, if you like the content, do me a favor by minting me a subscription down below. I'll see you guys in the next one.